And we have another White House official coming to join the all-star team. That would, of course, be Ripple. And they are absolutely taking over DC, folks. We're going to make this update quick. Thank you for spreading this message out far and wide. I really do appreciate it. Let's get right on into it. So starting off here, Eleanor Terrett with the scoop. We have Gary Gensler receiving a letter from GOP members Tom Emmer and Representative Mike Flood from the Republicans, and actually two Democrats as well, Richie Torres and Representative Willie Nickel, urging the SEC to approve the Bitcoin spot ETF. And now we've always said that cryptocurrency, this shouldn't be political at all, right? This is about money. And obviously there's a, a, a lot at stake here. There's billions and trillions of dollars on the line when it comes to the financial system and the incumbents as we know it. And that's why Gary Gensler's doing his dance to protect the boys and the girls at Goldman Sachs, at all the other firms. I don't need to name them. You guys know what's taking place. We've, we've really caught them all. We have the whistleblower now. We have that added to the timeline, the facts, everything that we've been putting together for two and a half years in this lawsuit. That was the only mistake here, or one of many mistakes, I should say, of the SEC was giving us two and a half years to dig and we're not going to stop until we get that level playing field. And Stuart Alderati putting these guys in their place. The SEC chair will go to Congress tomorrow and lie by stating, and this is being recorded on uh, September 26th, so you guys are going to see this today. I'm going to be dropping this 927, 6 a.m. And uh, this is going to be the day that SEC chair Ginsler is showing up in D.C. for the second time this month. And Stuart Alderati calling it like it is. He's going to go in front of Congress and lie by stating that there is such a thing as a crypto asset securities market and tokens themselves are investment contracts. Now he scrolled down. Perhaps just one representative will read this line from the court's 7-13-23, that would be July 13th, this year, decision in the Ripple case, quote, XRP as a digital token is not in and of itself a contract transaction or scheme that embodies the Howie requirements of an investment contract. Is that worthy of a boom or what? When you got the chief legal officer of the company pulling up in D.C. with Brad, they are making a joke out of this thing. This was just this last week. In D.C., Brad, Stu, how's it going? And I just said, imagine thinking these guys could ever lose. There was no chance the best legal assassins on the team, and now they're about to take over DC. Now, I saw this from Mr. Intuitive, Mr. I, huge shout out, and we got a double tap here, and this isn't the only time that Ripple's tap in the White House, by the way. You guys know that we already have a handful of connections to basically every White House since the Clinton one, but today's connection here originally shared by Fojack, huge shout out to Fojack, but coming from the block.co, and I'm actually going to turn my webcam back on for you guys ripple taps former um, uh, former obama advisor or sorry official to head u.s public policy crypto firms have bolstered advocacy efforts in washington dc in a bid to push for increased regulatory clarity lauren believe served in the white house office of legislative affairs under president barack obama and she at one time worked at the white house under president obama joined ripple as the head of U.S. public policy and government. So she is going to be the liaison between Ripple and D.C. We saw they were there last week talking to the politicians about these crypto bills that are being considered. And it's going to be a, a dance going on in D.C. tomorrow, once again, with Gary Gensler, with the government shutdown, with the impeachment trial, uh, the first hearing in the Biden impeachment is set to come Thursday. So the D.C. dance is well underway. It's only going to be ramping up from here. The connections to every single White House administration going back to Clinton's administration tells you something. I'm not here to give you financial advice, but that's an interesting deal for me when I look at potential investment opportunities and I see that they got the 43rd Treasury of the United States joining their board of directors along with other advisors like Michael Barr, who is now in charge of the banking crisis, the supervisor role at the Federal Reserve as we speak right now after he was advising Ripple. And the connections are dozens upon dozens of what, like I said, every single administration, every single uh, sector of business and, and, and financial markets, 
JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, BlackRock executives coming to slide through multiple positions. And this is a company that's still hiring. While everyone's crying, it's a bear market, it's a recession, they're going into hiding. Ripple's still hiring. They're still acquiring other key infrastructure plays like Fortress, like Metaco, Medico, right? These are big moves with big hitters. And I think that their success is inevitable. Does that mean that XRP goes to $5 or 589? I'm excited to find out. And I hope you guys are ready to come on the journey with me. With that being said, if you could smash that thumbs up for me on the way out, and I will see you guys in the next one. God bless you all.